Tandy Lab fans, my name is Jacob, and today we are going to be opening not one, not two, but three classic Coco computers. That's right, we're looking at the original Radio Shack color computer line, and we've got some really crazy boxes. Uh, so this is the first one. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to be able to get the entire thing on my, uh, in, no, not even close on that shot. This box is huge. Uh, it's the biggest of all the ones we have by far. Um, let me look at the box itself first for a minute. It looks pretty sweet, not gonna lie. It's got that classic, real old school Radio Shack look to it that I kind of love. It's pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll just open it. It uh, has a date code on it. It says 11A2. I don't know what that means. Uh, wow, this looks really clean on the inside. It's hard for me to get it all in shot for you guys. And it's not even going to be in focus because this box is, again, gigantic. So I apologize. We're going to take everything off to the side because that doesn't look quite nice enough for you guys. Um, and we'll go over everything individually. So uh, going ahead with extended color basic. Uh, first of all, I love how colorful this looks. And I love the little mascot dude. He's so cute. Um, these pages are stuck together. Okay. Um, wow, this is really cool. There's a lot in here. It's And they give you tons of note sections. And there's basic. And these are great manuals. And there's a second one. What's this one? Okay, so this is the basic. TRS-80 color computer. Getting started with the basic. Uh... Oh, these are super nice. I'm really impressed. Uh, I, I didn't say it earlier, but I have never used a color computer. I've never touched one. Uh, I, I apologize, I'm a novice, but that means uh, this is one line that I completely missed out on. I've never used before, uh, which means this is the first time I'm seeing any of this, which is why I'm so excited. Um, I have no idea what's in these boxes or anything like that. What is this? Uh, it says Radio Shack on it. Here. Um, can any of you guys know what this is? It's got like a red and a green and a... I honestly have no idea what that is. I'm completely stumped. It says Radio Shack. See? But, and it's got a red, a green, and a blue thing in it. Like the colors of the logos, but I don't know what it is. Someone please elect... I feel like a moron. Uh, okay. Moving this stuff off to the side. Uh, underneath the first layer of cardboard, we have the computer itself under this, like, dust cover. Let's take a look at that dust cover first, because that's the exciting thing everyone's here for. Uh, it is a dust cover. It says, oh, that's for go. Radio Shack TRS-80 Color Computer. Right there. It's in pretty good condition, all things considered, considering it's... Old. Uh, oh, this looks so cool. Let me. Get it out. Grab the power cable. We'll look at the other cables first because I gotta keep that as the piece de resistance. Just got a ton of little converters and hookups for it. Uh, here's your DIN style connector. Uh, and what's this one? Uh, same thing. It goes out to your signals. It's cool stuff. What's this? Oh, you use your VHF. Okay. They're cool. It's just cables. Nothing f fancy. They're cool, but not like, wow! No one's ever been like, wow, it's a cable! Oh, uh, but this. This is cool. Okay, man, so uh, I've seen videos of these before, but I've never used this. I've used, uh, I want to say, Color Computer 2 ones, but never the one. Um, I'm, I'm a keyboard guy. I love keyboards. And although this keyboard's not the greatest I've ever used uh, because its keycaps are so tiny, it surprisingly doesn't feel bad. Um, I could get some use to this. I... I'd give it a solid, like, three out of five for, you know, the time period. I've used better, 
but I've certainly used worse. I will say, uh, compared to all the very brown and wood grain and new systems of the time, this sleek, dark gray metallic color looks so cool. It looks awesome. Um, we've got tons of ports on the back here. Oh, I'm looking forward so much to getting to play around with this system. Look at that uh, slot there. That's That's got some force behind it. Um, was this your first computer ever? Chances are for a lot of you, yes. Um, was it a good one for you? Did you like it? Was it awesome? It looks awesome, certainly. It's one of the coolest looking computers of the decade, I'd say. It's pretty sweet and makes me excited to see how the line evolved from this. So we're gonna move on now. I'll probably do a little jump cut so I can get it all set up to the Color Computer 2. Okay, so we have the uh, Color Computer 2 here. Box is significantly smaller. This is way smaller than the first one. So I wonder if it means the computer's gonna be smaller. I have used one of these, but it was once and it was for like five minutes. Uh, I've seriously never used this entire line of computers. My knowledge of Radio Shack computers basically starts with the, the Tandy 1000 and, you know, uh, and that's funny because, you know, tons of you guys have asked us to color, uh, cover the color computer line and now we are. So let's take a look inside. Okay. Uh, first of all, we have in its original wrapping, we have a. I gotta check on the floor now to see if it's the same. Uh, different form factor, but they look similar. Uh, so it's getting started with Color Basic, the second one, I guess. Uh, very different looking manual on the inside. It's cool though, I like it. I love how colorful they are. And then introducing your color computer to. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Set that stuff on the ground, because it's time to break out the goods. Box to the side. Oh, we have the power cable. I don't think you guys really care to see the power cable. Or is that another? No, it's not power. It's something else. But... Uh, sorry, headphone users. This is a color computer too. It's compared to the first one. Uh, you'll notice it's whiter, uh, and it looks a lot, considerably much. Uh, like the Tandy 1000 EX. I, I notice a lot of design similarities here. Um, it's a much different keyboard. Keys feel nice, but uh, they're very shallow. Uh, this is, in fact, definitely, now that I have it in front of me, the one I played around with once in the past. Um, it's so much smaller. It is, uh, it is ridiculously small compared to the first model, but overall, externally, it looks very similar. They didn't change much other than the keyboard, uh, but I like it. it. It, again, visually very appealing system. And now we move on to the Color Computer 3. So I have some, some disappointing news. Uh, we were not able to get a boxed uh, Color Computer 3 to open for you guys because quite frankly the only ones that were available were way above our current budget. That being said, if you want to help us increase that budget, you can check out our Patreon. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Uh, we do have one. We just don't have the box. And getting one in the box would have cost several hundred dollars more than what we were willing to pay for one, so we decided to forego the box. Uh, let's look at it real quick. It's the it is a cool system. Uh, Design-wise, it's very similar to the previous model, but not quite. There's some differences in not only the keyboard backing color, but in the actual layout. 
though the keys feel exactly the same. Huh. And it does say it has 128K on it, which is a lot, I have to say. Uh, most of the ports look the same on the back. It looks fairly similar to the second model. But I am saving something extra for you guys since we weren't able to get a Colored Computer 3 to unbox for you guys. We did grab a micro color computer. Uh, this is the model MC10. Uh, even compared to the other models, I know nothing whatsoever about this thing. So this is truly me going into it blind. I'm sorry I'm not an expert on it, but uh, this is my first time ever seeing one of these and that makes me excited to look at it. The box opens in a very strange way. I've, you don't see boxes open with the flap going like this. Feels like it should be this side that's cut up, but no, it's the other way. Uh, very orange box as well. We'll take the computer out and that last. Uh, let's start up. Wow, you get a lot less manual than you did before. Uh, that's kind of disappointing, but not too bad. The rest are just standard cables. There's, that's a pretty beefy power brick, I will say. Uh, that's where a lot of the uh, girth of the computer went, I guess, to make it micro. But how micro is it? Ah, uh, pretty micro, gotta admit. Uh, so it is easily a third the size of the colored computer two or three. I'd say a quarter the size of the one. Uh, it is, uh, to compare it to another famously small computer, uh, I'll compare it to the Timex 1000, which is the same size as the, uh, well, I guess it's slightly bigger technically than the uh, uh, ZX81. To compare it to that, its actual form factor is similar, but it's much thicker of a computer. But for actually taking up desk space, it's about the same. Uh, it's got significantly fewer ports than the original model, though that does look like an expansion slot of some variety here. I don't know much about it, but it looks cool. Is that a reset button? I think so. Let's try out that keyboard. Well, uh, I would not want to write a college thesis on it because it's so tiny, but we have at least two computers in our collection that are worse than this. Second worst, so worse than this, uh, is the Mattel Aquarius, which has about the same size of keyboard, but instead of being hard plastic bits like these are, they're like mushy rubber. And these feel much better than that. I will say that. And the worst is the the Timex Sinclair 1000. That thing's keyboard is horrendous. And if I had the choice between using one of those as my only di computer device forever and using one of these, I'd take this. This feels much nicer to type on. Uh, so I'm going to type out, please subscribe. Enter. Yeah, please subscribe. Uh, we just opened uh, three-ish computers, uh, depending on how you want to count. Uh, we could definitely stretch it and say four, but no, it's three. Um, there's a switch on the bottom. What is that? I'll figure it out later. Channel select. I just figured it out. Uh, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. If you want to see more content with the color computers, us actually covering them, doing stuff with them, uh, doing some full out reviews of them. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to join our Discord, our ever growing Discord channel where we have more and more tech people coming in to discuss the old computers we all love. And uh, make sure you check out our Patreon so we can afford to keep the lights on. And I'll see you guys next time.